So, lads, we haven't gone over the cards in packs yet. We have not gone over the cards in packs yet. Which I think is going to be one of the more interesting things anyway, because the Dark Matters are going to be cheap. The one thing I will say uh, is I couldn't give a damn about Luca, David Robinson, or Paul George. I couldn't give a damn about them. Like, they're just... They're just skins. They're skins. They're not real players. They're just skins. They're just skins. This doesn't help anybody. No one... This. There's no new players. They're skins and also have a release that... Uh, like... Aren't going to be usable for new players. Like, look. If you liked... If you liked the other end games, they're going to play the exact same. They're going to... All of these guys are the exact same card. What about Bill Russell? The exact same. But let's look at Antoine Jameson. Um, okay, perfect stats wise. Corver Mello. I don't mind Corver Mello. I don't mind Corver Mello. And there's nothing on chat, but Ty in the chat saying it's might have been the most boring ever. Oh, it's already over. It's already finito. <laughs> it's already done. It's already done. It's already cemented itself as just being incredibly boring. Because if you get a starting five of games today, the only thing that's different is players are taller. But, uh, yeah, they got to give us taco. They're going to give us taco in the the next week. Uh, Jameson is really good, but also, like, like, why would you not just use this Jameson? Because he can play the two. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Darius Garland, 6'1", 6'1", wingspan. I mean, he's 6'1". Uh, Garland, Garland, I'm very quick. This is going to be, like, the quickest release of the game. This is going to be unbelievably quick, so I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. Um, Trey Escape, Garland, Trey Young, Leaner. I mean, he's going to be interesting. I don't know what Trey Leaner. Oh, they got rid of his normal too. They got rid of his normal too. Then we got Larry Johnson here. 94, I mean, 93, they're the same card. They're the same card. JT, oh, JT Thor, Steph Curry. That's a nice release. Trey Young, Steph Curry, normal leaner. More interesting than the end games. I mean, he's not great, but he's more interesting than the end games. Am I wrong with that? Am I right or wrong saying that he's, he's just more interested in end games? Thank you for the five gifteds, Manny. Really appreciate that. Thank you, man. Thank you. But, uh... Everything on my streams kind of just stopped, but... Thank you, Manny. Either way, DeMarcus Cousins. Trez Duncan. That's an interesting release. Stevie, size of John Wall Escape. I like this card. I like this card. Boogie's good, man. Boogie Cousins is good. Like, he's got no flaws. He's got absolutely no flaws. Like, this is like the worst concept. Like, I'm just so deflated. I'm just so deflated because of the end games. Like, I'm so deflated. Like, this is actually a really good card. Ant Man. Just give him Ant Man. O'Shea Brissett, John Wall. Holy crap. Like, I like that man's release, though. Like, what? This is, this is what they should have done. Invincibles should still just have Anthony Edwards, Anthony Edwards, I'm very quick. Like, Invincible should have a player's normal release. Maybe give them a new upper or a new base, but one of the two should be their things. And all these, like, O'Shea, Brissett, John Wall, these are what Endgame should be. Endgame should be all of these things. And all, basically, all the Invincibles are getting releases that Endgame should be getting. Like, JT, Thor, Steph Curry, whoever has that one. 
Like the releases that they're giving the Invincibles are the releases they should be giving the end games. And there will be more variety in it. And then what they're doing to the normal cards, they should, or then they should just give the Invincibles their normal releases. Like, these cards are good, by the way. They're good. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Danny Granger. KPJ. Ah, oh, Danny Granger is just... Uh, <laughs> Danny Granger is a better release than every single... Danny Granger is a better release than every one of the endgames. KPJ Kevin Love is better than all the endgames. Like, really, really good. This Danny Granger is going to be one of the best shooting guards in the game. If you are a fan of... Uh, if you're a fan of this release, he's going to be good. He's basically like a 6 9 case and Wallace, but he plays the two. Like, if I can, if he's a buyer, I'm going to buy Danny Ranger and play him. Like. But, like, they're being creative with the other cards. Like. Just wait. Booker doesn't even have Booker. Like, come on, man. Come on, wait, did they change? Did Booker get a new release on this card? Oh, he did. Oh, sorry, Booker doesn't have Booker anyway. I'm wrong with that. I'm wrong with that. Wait, what? Wait, does, does Booker not have the Booker step back? Booker doesn't have, they changed Booker step back. They changed the one good thing about Booker. Am I right with that? He has a new step back. Chat, am I right or wrong with saying they made Booker worse? They gave him Asta. It's his hop jumper. Hop jumpers aren't afraid of okay. But like he like sidesteps a shitload when he steps back. He's asked, I don't know how to do an Asta. Need a hop jumper. Does he still have his Booker stuff? I don't play the game. I'm not comp, I couldn't give a damn. I can still probably give you a competitive game. Um, but yeah, of all these cards here, um, Danny Granger's pretty good. They're all skins. Everything's a skin. Everything's a skin, lads. We're, they're all skins.